Wednesday, the 12th of October, 2022. First reading. A reading from the book of Galatians. If you are led by the Spirit, no law can touch you. When self-indulgence is at work, the results are obvious. Fornication, gross indecency and sexual irresponsibility, idolatry and sorcery, feuds and wrangling, jealousy, bad temper and quarrels, disagreements, factions, envy, drunkenness, orgies and similar things. I warn you now, as I warned you before, those who behave like this will not inherit the kingdom of God. What the Spirit brings is very different. Love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, trustfulness, gentleness and self-control. There can be no law against things like that. Of course, you cannot belong to Christ Jesus unless you crucify all self-indulgent passions and desires. Since the Spirit is our life, let us be directed by the Spirit. Responsorial Psalm Anyone who follows you, O Lord, will have the light of life. Happy indeed the man who follows not the counsel of the wicked, nor lingers in the way of sinners, nor sits in the company of scorners, but whose delight is the law of the Lord, and who ponders his law day and night. Anyone who follows you, O Lord, will have the light of life. He is like a tree that is planted beside the flowing waters, that yields its fruit in due season, and whose leaves shall never fade, and all that he does shall prosper. Anyone who follows you, O Lord, will have the light of life. Not so are the wicked, not so, for they are like winnowed chaff, shall be driven away by the wind, for the Lord guards the way of the just, but the way of the wicked leads to doom. Anyone who follows you, O Lord, will have the light of life. Gospel Acclamation Hallelujah, hallelujah. Instruct me, Lord, in your way. On an even path lead me. Hallelujah. Gospel A reading from the book of Luke. The Lord said to the Pharisees, Alas for you, Pharisees, you who pay your tithe of mint and rue and all sorts of garden herbs and overlook justice and the love of God, these you should have practised, without leaving the others undone. Alas for you, Pharisees, who like taking the seats of honour in the synagogues and being greeted obsequiously in the market squares. Alas for you, because you are like the unmarked tomb that men walk on without knowing it. A lawyer then spoke up. Master, he said, when you speak like this, you insult us too. Alas for you, lawyers also, he replied, because you load on men's burdens that are unendurable, burdens that you yourself do not move a finger to lift. Gospel of the Lord.